Members of the Mojaji Royal House are not seeing eye to eye. This follows the announcement that Prince Likukela Mojaji would become the ruler of the Balobedu people. It's the first time in 200 years that a king will reign instead of a reign queen. Princess Debucho Mojaji Kekana is one of the members of the Royal House who say they won't allow anyone to change the course of history. She says 16-year-old Princess Masala Nabo Mujaji is the rightful heir to the throne. She joins me now for that conversation to share her views. And Princess, uh, thank you for talking to me. So what about this announcement that Prince Likukela Mujaji will become uh, the king uh, of the Balobedu people doesn't sit right with you? Uh, it's actually rubbish because for the fact that the last King made, you know, elected a queen. There was problems there. You you get what I'm saying. There were problems before, and ever since then, I mean, honestly, if they wanted to dispute or put a king, they could have done it immediately. But more than 200 years, and they wanna tell us that they wanna put a king to run the kingdom. I mean, really, it's not acceptable at all. And we're not going to accept it. And as many of the Balobedu, they're not accepting it. So part of the official line uh, from the Mojaji Royal House, uh, Royal Council rather, is that they've never said that um, uh, Princess um, uh, Masala Nabo would become the next reign queen. They'd never uh, committed to that and made that announcement. What do you make of that? Okay. They were never even supposed to say anything because this is the lineage of the queens, not the lineage of the kings. What do you say? That's to... why education is very, very important. Yeah. What, but what will you say yeah. to those who say, though, that in as much as we've been celebrating that this uh, kingdom has been matrilineal and has had queens all along, but it's not unheard of for Thank it to you. be led by a king? Absolutely. And even if you can go to social media, everybody knows Queen Mojaji. It doesn't matter who the queen is, but they recognize the queen. Go overseas, go to Queen Elizabeth and ask her, do you know Queen Mojaji? She will tell you, yes, I know, I know about the Queen Mojaji. Do you know about King Mojaji? He will, she will think you are crazy because... Uh, the whole world recognizes the queen, not the king. But what I'm asking is, what will you say to those who are saying that installing a king doesn't really alter the course of history in that um, it was only 200 years ago, well, only is, is perhaps not the, the appropriate qualification. It was 200 years ago that uh, the, the succession of queens started. But prior to that, you had kings, including the very first king of the Balobedu uh, people, who was King Petule II. Yeah, exactly what I, I think I explained it to you that the last king installed the queen seeing that there are problems with the kings. And ever since we had queens, we never had any problems. That's why we don't reinstall the king out of the blue. And even the presidency recognizes the queen, not the king. So what do you think is really going I was, on here? I was, I was interviewed yesterday yes. by, by one of the uh, journalists. The reason that... Um, Papata told the journalist was that he's tired. Has he ever thought what is tiring him as a regent? Because he's a man. He's not supposed to rule the kingdom or to run the kingdom. But if it was a woman who was who was a regent or he is a who who is a regent. The woman was not going to be tired. Sure. So in terms of the customs and cultures uh, of the Balobedu, including uh, the sacred customs around rainmaking uh, and, and other customs like those, what would be the impact of having a king as opposed to having a, a queen? I don't want to kiss anybody, but 
the ancestor son allow it. They will see something that has never happened to them in life. The ancestor son allow it and we know it, they know it. They are just power hungry, they are just pushed by greed of being, you know, rulers and stuff like that. It doesn't work like that. Mm. And, and uh, the other thing, the, the, I, I kept on saying, I kept on preaching this for ages. I said, there is something, you, you can't be royalty and be a politician. So you can mix those two. So with them, it's obviously, they are politicians. They want to bring uh, politics in this uh, kingdom. And we don't, we're not going to allow it. What does we're not going to allow it mean in terms of the, uh, because there are the, you know, cultural and customary practices on the one hand, but there's also the legislative and governmental uh, practices on the other hand, in that, you know, the Royal Council can simply go now to the Premier of Limpopo and say, this is the next king of Balobedu, um, who will then have to communicate with the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, eventually approaching the President. That line of officials and leaders, if they are watching us and listening to us now, what is your message? I what will you do to try and, and stop it? We're going to fight it until the end. I hope they are listening. And uh, if there is somebody who doesn't understand the culture and our tradition as Balobedu. He's part of the so-called Royal Council. The Amabundas, the Amkises, the Amambulas as the royal councillors. Those people are pushing their own agendas. They are not pushing the Balobedic agenda. And we're not going to allow it. That's why I was on SABC now. We're going to dissolve that council, that so-called royal council, and um, reappoint new councillors. And if it means disowning Mpapatla, we're going to do that. And we don't want to do that because we know that Mpapatla is part of us. But if it comes to a push, we will do it. How much support does your voice have and your position have within the royal family? Um, okay. To be honest with you, ne? I have, I have uh, lived, growing up, my grandmother, Makobo, the one that I'm named after. And I used to tell lots of people, I used to pray to people. I even wrote a book about her, that she wasn't educated, but she was very wise. She will listen to you while you speak nonsense or you want to make her, you know, hear your nonsense, and she will do whatever she wants. She thinks it's right for the Boba Lovedu and for her. So in this case, I'm doing the, exactly the same thing. Like I'm saying to you, they, ne they first neglected Makobo. I was with Makobo until Makobo died. I was with uh, Masala Nabo. They neglected Ma Masala Nabo. And they neglected Makobo because of Mohali. They say Mohali was not was a commoner. If they go back, if they know the history, they will understand that the Mohali are actually part of Balovedu, are part of the Mojaji. Mm. Lastly, so there is no commoner here. Lastly, Princess Debuho. And, and then if they want their, if they want to rule, I suggest that they start their own thing. Nobody, nobody stops them to start their own kingdom or whatever, but they, yeah. they must live my kingdom alone. Lastly, ma'am, um, you, you've been saying that there, there are very good historical reasons why uh, the lineage went from, um, you know, uh, being a lineage of uh, kings and being a lineage of queens. And, and, and I mean, yes. uh, men are um, admittedly at the center of many, many problems in society. And I think living in South Africa, there's no debate about some of the uh, problems uh, that men have caused uh, in this society. But why do, you, why do you say that a king is not suitable uh, for, this, for, for, this, um, you know, for this throne and leadership of Balobedu in 2021? What are the reasons why 
we should have a queen instead okay. of a, a king in terms of you know why why men are not suitable um now you want me to tell you the family secret <laughs> i will tell you i will briefly tell you the kings never lasted to 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 in the throne the king had problems running the throne ever since they put a woman we never had problems so basically the ancestors recognizes women that men in my culture all right that's clear enough thank you so much really Have appreciate you it ever heard of king mojaji mm. before the queen have have you personally heard about about king mojaji mm. be honest with me yeah have you no no not at all um not at all uh, I, but as i said of course there are those records that talk of king petule king mohale as you say uh, also being mentioned but I've, I've heard what you are saying i get your point yeah yes thank you so much thank you that is so, the princess devil for the princess devil homo i've got to thank you for your time here on all angles uh, giving us that side of the argument about the succession of the balobedu uh, people uh, around queen mojaji and whether we're going to have a queen mojaji or are we going to have a king Likukela mojaji um, in the coming months and years and of course there is another side to that story we are working to get the uh, uh, the royal council uh, to give us their side uh, and their perspective as to why they took this decision uh, to suggest uh, and announce that prince Likukela mojaji would become the next leader of the balobedu people